Hi everybody, my name is Demi Spakovento. I'm a high school teacher from Australia and I've also been a women's health educator in schools as the founder of Bright Girl Health. Today I've partnered with SALT to share with you their new teen cup which is the perfect option for first time cup users and teenagers. In this video I'm going to be sharing with you why the teen cup is so perfect for teenagers using the cup for the first time. I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite cup tips to make it so easy and I'm going to be sharing some tips from my parent teen masterclass all about how you can have the best easiest period possible and minimize period symptoms. So the new teen cup comes in two gorgeous colors. We've got the aqua green and we have wild rose and they're such fun beautiful colors and the cool thing is that the colors and the product design was created in collaboration with teenagers who got to have a say in what it looked like and the packaging which is really cool. So the teen cup is a little bit smaller. It holds two tampons worth of blood. So it's a little bit less confronting for first time cup users. The teen cup also has a longer stem on it. And this is going to be really helpful to make the removal process easy. Cups are my own favorite way to manage my period. So many of my friends' favorite ways to manage their period. And it's definitely something that teenagers can use no matter who they are, as long as they're comfortable to give it a try and there are so many benefits to using the teen cup you can wear it for up to 12 hours which means far less bathroom runs and because it holds two tampons worth you could if you've got a normal flow go the whole school day without even having to worry about your period at all and if it's inserted correctly, it should be completely comfortable. You shouldn't feel it at all, meaning you can kind of forget you even have your period. You can wear whatever undies you want to wear without the fear of it leaking. On average, we can use up to 11,000 pads and tampons over our lifetime. And they actually can take 300 to 500 years to break down. That means that your pad or tampon could be living longer than you are. So switching to a cup can minimize our environmental impact as well as save us money and be so comfortable. So let me give you some of my favorite cup tips that made using a cup so easy for me. First of all, when you go to put it in, the biggest thing to do is to relax. If we're tense, this can actually make it harder to insert. So take a big deep breath in and smile. Think about something that makes you happy and this will tell your body that it can relax. My next tip is to try some different folds. You can fold your cup up so that the tip of it is nice and small and it's actually really no bigger than a tampon is. Try out some different different folds to see what works for you. My next tip is to not get discouraged. So many people say that when they first try the cup, it takes them a couple of cycles to feel like they have the hang of it. So if you try and you only get it a little tiny way in, that's a big win. Awesome. Good job. And you can come back tomorrow or the next cycle and try again. There's no fails when it comes to the cup. So keep trying and eventually you will get the hang of it. And once the light bulb turns on, you'll love it. I promise it makes having a period so easy. My next tip is that it's okay to use your fingers. You can get comfortable with using your fingers and there's nothing wrong with it. Once you've folded up your cup and placed it inside, it should slowly open. And what you can do to make sure that you're leak free all day is just take one finger and swirl it around the base of your cup while it's inside. And while you're swirling your finger, you're looking to make sure that there's no parts where the cup hasn't fully popped open. And if you find a part where the cup hasn't fully popped open, you can just push against the vaginal wall away from that part of the cup to make sure the cup's fully opened 
fully sealed so that you don't have any leaks and you're comfortable all day. Now my big tip for removing the cup is to walk your fingers up the stem to find and pinch the base at the grip rings. This stem is here to make you nice and confident that you're going to be able to find the base and the cup cannot get lost inside you. It's physically impossible. So there's nothing to worry about with this getting lost. But walk your fingers up the stem, pinch the base, and then wiggle the cup out. Keep the cup upright so the contents don't spill. And then once the cup is fully out, you can tip the blood into the toilet. And then you can go over to the sink and wash your cup with a gentle, fragrance-free, oil-free soap and then reinsert it again. When you finish your period, you can boil this in hot water on the stove so that you can sanitize it. And my top tip there is to use a whisk to make sure your cup doesn't touch the bottom of the pot. And then you can place your cup into the carry bag that you have to store until your next period. Periods don't have to be a horrible, miserable experience. If our hormones are in balance, we see less period symptoms. And in my parent teen e-course, I teach you how to have the most balanced hormones possible and some tips that you can do with your everyday life in terms of nutrition, exercise, sleep, stress management, in order to bring your hormones into balance to minimize period pain, to minimize PMS, and to have a positive positive period experience. So if you wanted to learn all about having the best period possible, you can head over to my website, brightgirlhealth.com shop, and you can enroll to be part of my parent teen e-course. But here's a bit of a preview of some of those tips that you can use in every day for a better period. The first tip is what we eat. There are foods that are really helpful for our hormone balance and some foods that aren't so helpful, like our junk food and our highly processed sugary foods. Some foods that you can eat to help hormone balance would be lots of fiber. And we get fiber from nuts, seeds, but mostly from fruits and vegetables. My goal is to have at least five different veggies throughout my day and to have vegetables in every single meal. That's going to help our body to get rid of the hormones it doesn't need and keep them in balance. My second tip is to make sure you're regularly moving your body every single day. This again helps our body to get rid of extra hormones it doesn't need so that they don't become imbalanced and we can have the best period possible. Aim to move your body whether it's walking Walking, stretching, playing outside, dancing even, however you like to move your body, try and do it every day for optimal hormone balance. And my third tip is to get on top of stress. Life can be so stressful, but stress is actually one of the biggest enemies to our hormones. And when we are stressed, we start to see a lot more period symptoms pop up. And the stress actually tells our brain that we can't prioritize making healthy period hormones because we need to prioritize staying safe, which is really smart of our body. But at the same time, we want to manage that stress so that we can have healthy period hormones and less symptoms. So one of my favorite things to do is deep breathing. Deep breathing into the belly rather than into the chest tells our body that it can calm down, relax, and make healthy period hormones. And in my parent teen e-course and masterclasses, I teach you one of the most effective breathing techniques to put your mind in a state of rest where it can go, where the body can go back to making healthy period hormones. There's actually so much power we have to influence our hormones with what we do every day. So if you want to learn more and sign up for the Bright Girl Health Parenting e-course, you can use the code SALT10 for $10 off. I hope you've learned something about the teen cup today. I love my cup and I'm sure you'll love it too. 